Hi. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, I can't even blame the cat for that one. That was just me. I forgot to plug in my laptop. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it shut down and things are still here and it's exactly the same. It didn't like close anything. <laughs> Yeah, my laptop doesn't give me a warning when it's about to die. <laughs> uh, back to the cats. <laughs> you guys can hear me, right? <laughs> um. Anyway, <laughs> back to the stream. Such a good streamer. <laughs> no, don't bully me. <laughs> I'm being bullied. <laughs> okay, uh, Quimby thinking about a strange tea like object they saw recently. Clay Shriek is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. <laughs> yes, that is boyfriend. That was boyfriend in the background. That do be me. <laughs> He's been here the whole time. <laughs> Clay Shriek, uh, I think I read that. Onion wants to compliment Spire Joy's fighting techniques. Myrtleberry forgot where they put something and every other warrior offers to help them find it. You also disappeared for a few days, so that, that was interesting. Gonna keep an eye on you. NASCAR is eavesdropping on Bubbling Mark. Shard Ember fo is found sobbing outside camp. Oh, that's that's horrible. Poor Shard Ember. Why are you crying? Oh, God. Yo, she <laughs> don't. <laughs> One second. I'm back. This is a great stream. <laughs> I am the best streamer. <laughs> uh, mom came home. <laughs> anyway, this was sad. Moving on. Spire Joy tries to set a good example for younger cats. Inigo is relaxing in camp. Wisteria Mass tries to set a good example for younger cats. Laburnum isn't ashamed of their past. Marble Fur makes immature jokes all day, leaving everyone else rolling their eyes. Volcano Swan is giving some advice to Laburnum. Yeah, definitely a chaotic stream so far. Laurel Tuff wonders how Pansy Russell is doing. Icy Pelt is wondering what the inside of a two-legged den looks like. Bubbling Mark wonders how Clay Shriek is doing. Uh, you can use... You can use edits of my art as long as you credit me and don't, like, specifically trace it, you know? 
Like, if you're editing it into, like, a music video type thing, that's fine, but don't, like, edit my art, please. <laughs> um, Bubbling Mark, I think I read that. Bluff Streak, Daydreams About Being a Warrior in Tiger Clan. Shaded Paw, Almost Got Lost Near Some Two-Leg Ness. Pansy Russell saw a two-leg kit playing with a dog. Bone Ivy is feeling gloomy. Frosty's Apple saw a kitty pet rolling around a two-leg garden. Chloe is feeling restless and just retired. Hazy Kit, we already saw the kits, but we have six of them now. And let's save and let's do patrols. Um, I don't know if Frosty, Frosty likes anyone, but we can check. I know that Frosty, uh, Frosty Dapple hates Thunderstar. So, you know, that's something to look out for. Um, don't know if he has any crushes, but we can check. Nope, no crushes. Just hatred of the leader. Mom is doing something very loud, so sorry if you can hear that in the background. <laughs> car honking. Honking. As the car honks loudly in the background, this is a this is a great stream. There's there's eight kids. I thought there was. Oh yeah, there's eight kids. This was a great one to witness in person. <laughs> Oh, I only looked at, like, three of them. I did not realize there was more. Um, Little Kit is unruly, a picky nest builder. And Hazy Kit is looking around the Camp of Wonder, who is noisy and quick-witted. I completely missed that there was two more kits. <laughs> but yeah, let's go on our patrols. Onion can go out with Shard Ember and Clay Shriek. On their way to mark the far corners of their mountain, Clay Shriek starts telling the stories of their ancestors. It keeps the cats' minds off their sore pads and the sharp stones they walk on. Thank you, Kit Kat. Anyway. <laughs> um, Icy Pelt, Wisteria Mask, and Shaded Paw can go out along with Laurel Tuft. A cat begging for their house folk to come back. Figaro joined the clan. Hello, Figaro. Where are you? We have so many cats. We need to stop inviting them. <laughs> I say as I'm the only one in trouble. Yeah, the buttons being pushed is uh, a microwave, I believe. <laughs> now we just need the gardeners to attack and Colby to, to rip out the laptop's charger. <laughs> you did hear a <laughs> You did hear a Drekum. Uh, Figaro is... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Figaro is looking around the Camp of Wonder. Nervous, very clever, and good teacher. White cough, so it's not red cough. Used to be a kitty pet. Very sad. Also 90 moons old. <laughs> Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> this this is chaos. We just, we just roll with it. Okay, uh, Anigo, you still have kits. Y you can go out, but I'm gonna pretend you're not going out. And then Bluff Streak can go out with Quimby and Volcano Swan. A large rat. More large, <laughs> more pre- I can talk, we're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Spire Joy. <laughs> Stick Bug celebrating that I technically sung so you can count it for the bingo card. Um, Spire Joy, Bubbling Mark, and Marble Fur. Checking the border lines, they hear an odd sound. And we catch a mouse. Is the mic, is the mic really spotty? Apologies if it is. I think I know why it is. One second. Mm. 
That might fix it. I had Discord open still. <laughs> Stream should be fixing up a bit more. I accidentally still had Discord open. Uh, Thunderstar can go off Antlerstock and NASCAR. Thunderstar suggests that it might be a good chance for the cats to practice new fighting techniques. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. It makes everything feel awkward and a waste of time. Great job, guys. The leader and the deputy had a bad training session. I, I'm doing great today. Definitely not a chaos stream so far. <laughs> Myrtleberry Libertum can go out. Suggest this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques. Dutifully, the cats practice their hunting, but no one has anything new to show to each other. Well, I probably should have sent out Myrtleberry on their own to see what they would have got up to since they did go missing for a couple days. Next moon, I'll try to do that. Uh, Valley can go out with Sporefern and Scorch. Let's just send all the med cats out. Nice spot to send themselves. The sunlight feels great and the cats have a successful discussion. We get Cobwoods and Horsetail. <laughs> it's not a stream without something breaking. Very true, very true. <laughs> Guys, we're only free moons into this stream. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> okay, time to time skip. I see births and deaths. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. Immediately. Wisteria Mask has gotten heat, heat exhaustion. Inigo and Antlerstock found a litter of free kits and decided to adopt them. They still had kits. Pansy Russell has gotten heat stroke. Bluff Streak Small Cut is no longer bothering them. Shaded Spirit, honored for his thoughtfulness. Very, co very cool name. Also, we did just get a, a bunch of apprentices right now, but Moss Clan doesn't actually send out their apprentices out of camp until they're eight moons old, so just keep that in mind. We will send them on fake patrols and not let them do anything, but in canon, they're staying in camp. Um, so, surprising Onion, the first thing that First Paul wants to do uh, is gather moss. Just to make sure everyone has fresh bedding. So Onion got an apprentice. <laughs> Softpaw has been pestering everyone for moons about when it will be finally time for them to be apprentice. They're apprentice and now they start asking about what they're going to do when they're going to be a warrior. <laughs> Falling Paw was apprentice to Shaded Spirit. Interesting. Hazy Paw. Smiles up at the stars as they are apprenticed to Laurel Tuft. Laurel Tuft immediately gets another apprentice. Little Paw, apprentice to Icy Pelt. So many apprentices, guys. Do Paw is apprenticed to Myrtleberry. Green Paw, apprentice to Anigo. Anigo just got more kits. And Owl Paw, apprentice to Bubbling Mark. Laurel Tuff gave Alpaw something to adorn their pelt as congratulations. And the Medicine Cat Apprentice from Viper Clan comes asking for herbs. And we don't give them moss. <laughs> so many apprentices just now. Let's uh, start at the end so we can see everyone over there. Guys. Guys. <laughs> okay, so they had immediately kits again. Just immediately. Um, they had Sky Kit, who is charming. Anigo and Antlerstock, I mean. They had Rapid Kit, who snuggles up to the belly of Anigo. And they had Blue Kit. Okay, these ones look a lot more like Antler. So I think the first litter was a 
uh, a donor helping them, and then Anigo had kits, and then I think this litter is Antler having kits. <laughs> Precious few moss, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, out of eight apps, literally no one asked to be a med cat. <laughs> So I think these are antlers bio babies. I'm going to check out who their other in-game parent was. Hello, Merc. You had a heart marking. But yeah, new kits. Chloe wants to get to know Clay Shriek better. Yeah, Antler wanted to carry a litter. Frosty Dapple saw a Katie Pet rolling around a two-leg garden. Bone Ivy is enjoying the warm sun in the camp clearing. Pansy Russell is grumbling about the weather. And on to our many, many apprentices who will not be leaving camp yet. Playing a prank on Laurel Tuft immediately. You're the one apprentice the Shaded Spirit. You're childish. You're quick to help. Wondering what the inside of a two-leg den looks like. You're ambitious, quick to help, and never sit still. Apprentice the Shard Ember. For his paw, playing a prank on Onion, who is your mentor. You're also righteous, and you have an active imagination. Yeah, Antler will not be going on patrols now. Antler will be going on fake patrols, where we just send them out so I don't accidentally send them out. Alpaw feels worn out from the training. Apprentice to Bubbling Mark. Daring. And you also got herbs covering your pelt. Very pretty. Green Paws daydreaming about having a mate and kit someday. You literally just got six moons old. You're apprentice to Anigo. You're nervous. You never sit still. Do Paws at the medicine, den medicine cat den after a small injury. Myrtleberry, confident, interested in clan history. So many, so many kids, guys. <laughs> Little Paw fell into a nearby creek yesterday and is still feeling damp. Troublesome, picky nest builder. Icy Pelt mentor. Uh, Icy Pelt and Bubbling Mark both got apprentices. Hazy Paw wonders if Myrtleberry was a good apprentice. You're apprentice the Laurel Tuft, and you're shameless and quick-witted. I think some of these mentor choices aren't the best Thunder Star, I'm gonna be honest. Laurel Tuft just had an apprentice, and you also gave the newly freshly made warrior an apprentice, so I think Thunder Star might not be the best at picking mentors, but I do kind of think it's fun in general. <laughs> Shaded Spirit is eavesdropping on Scorch. Uh... You're strict, keen eye, great speaker. Congratulations on the new apprentice. There's so much background noise. <laughs> this is a stream of chaos and adventure, and that's that's all I gotta give it to you guys. Uh. Hydrate before you dehydrate. Uh, Bluff Streak, wishing Green Kit would play more quietly. Bubbling Mark, wonders if their fur is unkempt. I think we're gonna do a lot more solo patrols right now, just to see if the clan might get taken down a bit. <laughs> uh, Icy Pelt is hoping no cat saw them trip just now. Laurel Tuff feels like there are ants perking their pelt. Volcano Swan is feeling sassy. Marble Fur is sparring with some clanmates. Laburnum is trying to remember the taste of food their two legs used to give them. Mysteria Mask is having a hard day. Yeah, Antlerstock had more kits. Uh, Anigo wants to compliment Laurel Tuff's fighting techniques. Spire Joy is a bit cross with Fur's kit. Shard Ember wants to compliment Mysterium Mass fighting techniques. 
NASCAR saw a kitty pet rolling around a two-leg garden. Figaro is feeling excited. Myrtleberry spent last night stressing over possible disasters. Onion is telling the kids about their days as a loner. Clay Shriek wonders if their fur is unkempt, but others can notice. Seems like a lot of cats are worried about that right now. Quimby still hasn't retired, and she's giving advice to Rapid Kit. Uh, Tetrastripe had to fix an argument between the kits again. I'm going to say that's the apprentices, and I'm going to see who doesn't get along if any of them don't. So let's see who he might have been. Let's see. Any dislike. Any dislike. Just doing a quick scan. Why do you guys all like each other? Get, can't one of you guys have an argument? Can't one of you guys have a, a little bit of dislike so I can make this easier? There's so many of you, yet you all get along. That's not the Moss Clan way. Don't you, don't you guys know you're supposed to be passive aggressive towards each other? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to pick apprentices at random. So let's pick some apprentices at random so you can mediate, R removing that, and then, thank you loud honk in the background. Oh, I saw Fur's paw, <laughs> let me bring back Fur's paw. And we can mediate between you two, there you go. And then let's finish up checking everyone's statuses. <laughs> Stop being so wholesome. <laughs> uh, Spore Fern is craving fish. Scorch is checking up on the warriors. Valley is wondering how the cats they helped in the past are doing. Antler Sock is craving the taste of shrew. And Thunder Saw saw a kitty pet. And we're going to do all the non-canon uh, patrols right now just so we can get them out of the way. Just not let them actually do anything on patrol. Don't proceed. That is an interesting uh, glitch I see. Uh, a, a bit of an oopsie there. <laughs> like, that's not a canon... Uh, <laughs> Not a cannon patrol, but I do see that there's a, a mistake in the coding here. <laughs> Depp name spots the group of apprentices, definitely not sneaking out, and orders them back to camp. <laughs> and let me find Antler. Non cannon patrol, we're not proceeding. And now for the actual ones that can go out. So Myrtleberry can go out alone because I said we were going to do that to see if Myrtleberry gets up to something. Meets Viper Clan, a clan they consider to be allies at the border. Though your patrol stops the chat, the other patrols seem standoffish and cold. After a stilted attempt at conversation, the two patrols part and go on their ways. Quimby can go out with Shard Ember. We see a bird. We catch the bird. <laughs> it would be funny if that was canon and Antler Sock did see the group of apprentices and just said, Busted, you're not leaving. They're not canon because apprentices don't leave the camp in Moss Clan until they're eight moons old. 
a uh, shaded spirit can go out. I'm doing two cats, one cat, two cats, one cat for patrols because I'm gonna be honest, trying to see if I can do some population control without doing it myself. <laughs> uh, your patrol comes across a shrew. Drops into a crouch and stalks towards the shrew, and we get it. Your marble fur, onion, can go out. Small dog. The dog got a lucky hit in on marble fur together. Though together, the cats are still able to dry, drive it off successfully. So marble fur got some scrapes. Clay shriek can go out. Heads out to the mountains alone, wanting to explore. Rounds a corner and stumbles across a tiny, perfectly sheltered gully, thick with bushes and prey scent. Further investigations show that it will be sheltered from almost all wind directions and clay shriek purrs. The reliable prey source will be important during leaf bear. And Thunderstar can go of NASCAR. Good chance to practice new fighting techniques. Thunderstar takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice how to weave around an opponent, feeling more and more confident in their teamwork. Moral Tuft can go out. They notice that a Viper Clan sent is straight into the territory. Viper Clan is their ally, but this is a bit suspicious. Every time the game says that it's their ally, I, I can't help but... <laughs> It's ridiculous. They've gone to war. They, they're they not allies, man. <laughs> um, follows the scent deeper into their own territory, eventually summing upon a Viper Clan medicine cat. It seems there's an herb shortage, and the medicine cat was hoping to borrow from the Moss Clan's own stores to treat a badly wounded warrior. Thunderstar trains a car. That is true. Thunderstar did train NASCAR. Uh, Thunderstar, more like, am I about to make this joke? Thunderstar's Lightning, Lightning McQueen, guys. <laughs> I tuned you out and I come back to that. <laughs> what? Thunderstar trained a car, so he's Lightning McQueen. Base, honestly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Volcano Swan can go out. A little overwhelmed trying to train by themselves. They don't let their nerves get to them and successfully go out the train on their own. Bubbling Mark can go out with Laburnum. Actually, let's send out Bubbling Mark with their sister. As your patrol is checking the borderlines, they notice that a Viper Clan sent is straight into the territory. Again, we're not the ally. <laughs> ka -chow. Stream is very behind where I am, but I don't know how to fix that at this point. Um, Viper Clan Apprentice Wandering Lost. Viper Clan, watch your cats. <laughs> Uh, Spire Joy can go on their own. Galaxy, and Appre Galaxy Clan Apprentice wants to join, but I'm not going to let you because I don't want to. <laughs> Would be interesting if that was one of the Wigglebutt kits. Uh, An Ego can go out with Laburnum. Thunderpath. Waits until they can hear the wind whistling, not a murmur of a monster, and cross the thunder path to hunt on the other side. Bluff Street can go out. Scent of a mouse. And we missed the mouse. <laughs> Rude, my mother made a pizza. <laughs> I don't want to eat on stream. <laughs> Uh, Valley can go out with Scorch. Valley and Scorch decide to look for herbs while discussing the latest news. They have a good discussion while foraging for herbs. 
Uh, they managed to come up with several ideas. Spore Fern finds a nice spot to sun themselves. They don't get much done because of that. Oh, Spore Fern. <laughs> Guys, we're not even halfway done with the with the moons. This, this is a disaster. <laughs> Uh, time skip. It's a good pizza. <laughs> I'm glad to know it's a good pizza. Rarity joined the clan. My Little Pony. <laughs> Spire Joy finds a rogue named Rarity who joins the clan. The rogue decides to keep their old name. Uh, Marble Four is no longer scraped up. Antler Stock was caught sharing play with a rogue who was chased off. Pansy Russell is feeling much better. They recovered from heat stroke. Onion has gotten heat stroke. NASCAR has gotten extremely sore. Figaro has recovered from white cough. Blue Kid is scolded after sneaking out of camp. Blue Kid was grabbed by a hawk, but luckily Laburnum saves them. The kid is still left injured after the ordeal. Blue Kid, chill. And some of the mulin went bad. I want to go see Rarity. Who is our My Little Pony cat? And are you a boy or a girl? Or non-binary? Hello, Rarity. You're a boy. You're fabulous. I love that. He's charismatic, a masterful storyteller. Formerly a rogue. Used to live a rough life as a rogue. While wandering, they found a set of starry paw prints and followed them to the clan. Hello, did you used to know Valley Scorch, Valley and Scorch, did you used to know those guys? Like, he's younger than them, but still possible. Uh, Thundersaur saw some wandering two legs. Antlerstock is feeling unappreciated. Valley is looking for herbs. Scorch is thinking about a strange two-leg object they saw recently, and he has his elder sprite now. Spore fern mixes up herbs. These medicine cats are, are not doing the best. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, Tetra Stripe had to fix an argument between the elders. Okay, that's that's interesting. Who do you guys think is arguing? Oh my god. That's that's so many cats. Um Okay, let's see. Hey Frosty, do you do you not like anyone that's an elder? It says specifically between the elders. Is it Valley? Are you arguing with Valley? I think I'm going <laughs> to I think I'm going to mediate Frosty and da and Valley. Puddles, why do you have to go in the window? Guys, Moss Clan is huge. Um, the Moss Clan is huge, guys. We're we're in trouble. Uh, mediate. There. <laughs> Quimby is thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Clay Shriek wonders how Volcano Swan is doing. Onion is hoping Antler Stock won't assign them to the next patrol. Well, you are sick. You have heat stroke. Myrtleberry worries that they aren't contributing enough. Puddles are just sitting in the window letting a giant stream of light hit us, so that's fun. Figaro works twice as hard to prove their work to the clan board cats. Congratulations on getting better. Yeah, Frosty really doesn't like thunder. I'm scared. <laughs> NASCAR wonders how Spirejoy is doing. Rarity is looking around the camp. Also, he could have known Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie was a lot older, though. Like, at her death, she was, like, 110. So, if anything, he'd possibly be, like, a different kit from her, if anything. Like, an earlier litter. But he also could have just been a cat from the same household. We do have mass extinctions on, they just haven't rolled. 
Charred Ember wonders how Shaded Spirit is doing. Spire Joy is feeling gloomy. Anigo is doing their best to learn clan customs. Wisteria Mask almost got lost near some two-leg nests. Laburnum wants to critique Bubbling Mark's fighting techniques. Um, Marble Fur almost got lost. Volcano Sw Swan is giving advice to Quimby. Laurel Tuft is nervously glancing around camp. Icy Pelt hopes that they will make it through Leaf Bear. Bubbling Mark thinks that Little Paul will make a fine warrior. Bluff Shriek has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Shaded Spirit wants to get to know Antler Stock better. Hazy Paw wonders how Anigo is doing. Little Paw is eavesdropping on Bubbling Mark. Dew Paw spends time watching fish in the nearby river. Green Paw is eavesdropping on Scorch. Alpaw fell into the nearby creek yesterday and is still feeling damp. I wonder when we get Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Furs Paw is giving some advice to Clay Shriek. Soft Paw is feeling proud of the progress they've made. Falling Paw wonders how Rapid Kid is doing. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Pansy Russell saw some kitty pets. Bone Ivy feels their bones creak as they walk. And Frosty Dapple is enjoying the warm sun. Chloe is also basking in the sun. Blue Kid is hiding from other cats after she got hurt by a bird, so hopefully she gets better. Rapid Kid is hiding from other cats. And Sky Kit is always on their best behavior. Very cute. And fake patrol time before I forget. All the apprentices are not old enough to be out for Moss Clan. So fake patrol. <laughs> Gotta catch all the apprentices. We're not proceeding. Little Paw and Hazy Paw, and let me go grab Antler. Fake Patrol, you guys are not meant to be leaving camp. And time for the actual patrols. Oh yeah, we can look at Blue Kit, not hurt. Who's choking? Oh, yeah, she's munched on a treat. Okay. Blue kit looks like this when she's not hurt. Very pretty. And patrol time. Bubbling Mark can go out with Figaro. Glimpse of a shadow of a fish. Carefully walks to the water's edge and waits for their chance. And we get the fish. Good job. Sky Kit does have the same pattern as uh, NASCAR, but also if you look at at Antler Stock and you go to her relationships, not her relationships, if you go to Antler Stock's family tree and you go to her siblings, Sky Kit looks a lot like Brookstem, which is really cute. And Shaded Spirit can go out with Laburnum. Thank you for saving Blue Kit, by the way, Laburnum. Looks for something to disguise their scent. A snowy patch will do. Their plan works and their hunt goes well. Good job. NASCAR can go out on their own. We see a shrew. We miss the shrew. A Nigo can go out with Quimby. An old badger set. I'm scared. Quimby got a mangled leg. Quimby is battered in the process, but everyone gets home safe in the end, including the badger.
Oh, sorry, is stream really laggy? I don't know how to fix it. I don't have anything unnecessary to stream open right now. I will go to Blue Kit and I will stay on Blue Kit longer so you can actually see them. I will take a water break while we while we look at Blue Kit. Okay, hopefully you guys actually saw Blue Kit. Uh, Thunderstar can go out. There's a squirrel nearby. Though it tries to escape, Thunderstar is faster and smarter. They slam a paw down on the squirrel's tail before it can go very far and kill it with ease. If stream is really that bad, I might have to stop stream. <laughs> um, this could be like a... a two-day three-part stream. I don't know, honestly. Uh, Marble for Volcanoes 1. Things are going great this time. Hi, Puddles. Uh, new fighting techniques. <laughs> Marble for takes charge. Good job. Um, so let's see, Clay Shriek and Laurel Tuff can go out, gonna finish up, Loner is interested in joining the clan, we're really overpopulated, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that, Icy Pelt, Rarity, good chance to practice teamwork, Okay, everyone's voting.